Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today I want to talk to you about a new Moonday Finance DAP called Moon FOMO. Okay, as you can see on the screen, there's a Moonday ticket here and I'll explain what that's all about in a minute. Now if you have been following me on the channel, you know that I've spoken about Moonday Finance before, but this is a sponsored video because I have been in touch with the team. Alright guys, so please be aware of that, full disclaimer. However, I like Moonday and I do believe um, that they're a great project with great tokenomics, low supply. I love their honest and informative approach to the community of investors, all right? And that's why I agreed to do this video. If you are familiar with the previous platform, there's a 7% daily percentage when you stake in Moon Day, okay, which is quite good. Uh, that continues for seven days and then you can restate that again, or you can claim your dividends and do whatever you want to do. All right, guys. Also, the second DAP was the Moon Gold platform. And then what you have to do is you have to use the Moon Day token to buy Moon Gold. You can't buy it on Uniswap, you can't buy it anywhere else. If you want to buy Moon Gold, you have to buy Moon Day tokens, okay? And then you use the Moon Day tokens to buy Moon Gold. And as the Moon Day price goes up, the Moon Gold price goes up, okay? Well, you also get dividends on your Moon Day tokens, which you can reinvest and compound that, or you can withdraw that back to your wallet and you can sell that, do whatever you want with it. All right, now the third DAP, obviously we can see, is Moon FOMO. Now what is Moon FOMO? So hello astronauts, I am pleased to announce that the third smart contract for Moon Day Finance is now completed and live. In this medium post, I will explain to you how to play this contract game, and after that, I explain to you my vision for Moon Day Finance going forward. How to play Moon FOMO. The way the third smart contract, Moon FOMO, works is like this. The admins of the game will first initiate a round by entering a set of Moon Day in the jackpot. The jackpot is a prize that the last 40 people who purchase tickets will receive if they purchase a ticket when the round ends. There will be a timer. When someone purchases a ticket, the timer will go up by 4 seconds per ticket on individual purchases. If you were to purchase 40 tickets and no one purchases tickets after you and the timer runs out, then you will receive the full jackpot prize. If you purchase three tickets and someone purchases 37 tickets, for example, and the timer runs out, you would receive 3% of the jackpot prize. Essentially, the last group of people to buy the last 40 tickets will receive 1% of the jackpot, depending on the ticket amounts they have. If 40 people each buy one ticket and the timer runs out, they each get 1%. There is also a dividend aspect to Moon FOMO. First, you will need a purchase ticket First, you will need to purchase a ticket, sorry. Once you purchase a ticket, you will receive a share of the dividends from other people who purchase, in, who purchase tickets. Whenever an individual purchases a ticket, they lose 10%. That goes to others who are holding the ticket to begin with. The 10% gets distributed to all those who are holding the ticket, depending on how many tickets these individuals are holding. The more tickets you have, the more the 10% you will receive. You will also be able to claim your dividends at any time. Now, I believe you can only purchase around three to 400 tickets at a time, all right? But the more tickets you purchase, the more chance you, are, you have of getting a share of that jackpot, all right? Now, I hope you've been following me on this, okay? Because it does get a little bit confusing. It's, you might need to read it a couple of times, all right? So I will put a link uh, in the description for this Medium article so you can go back and read this for yourself. But just to continue on, getting straight to the point on my opinion on how I would play Moon FOMO. Getting a decent ticket position from the jump is the best idea. Once you are away from dividends, everything else is straight profit on top of the fact that you will receive 60% of the ticket purchase back once the round is over. The game is designed to induce FOMO, which in return is designed to increase dividend flow, and the last people are even rewarded with the jackpot prize. The ticket prize is also designed to go up over time. This does not mean you can sell at a higher ticket price, but this design is crucial to ensure that over time it becomes a whale fight. High dividends gets you reined, and eventually the round ends giving you back 60% of your initial ticket purchase. Finally, we have a free breakdown. 10% goes to the Moon Gold Huddle Wallet, which will feed Moon Gold. What I'm basically saying, upping your position in Moon Gold might not be a bad idea. 10% of the ticket buy goes to the jackpot. 10% of the ticket buys goes to previous ticket holders depending on their share which is based upon how many tickets the individual holds. 10% goes to the developer fund. 60% of your ticket purchase will go to the contract balance 
when the timer ends someone has to click the end round button and then you will click on the claim payouts button to get back the initial 60% so you're getting back what you purchased the ticket for minus the other fees okay so basically um, there is a video by Moon Day Dev and um, it's, you can see on here that it has a similar layout to Moon Day Finance okay uh, Moon Gold and Moon Day Finance platform okay so it's all part of the same thing of course all right so if you are familiar with those platforms you shouldn't have too much difficulty using this all right guys but as we can see as well the Moon FOMO platform feeds the Moon Gold platform and the Moon Gold platform feeds Moon Day all right so we've got an ecosystem that's built here okay free dApps all right another thing I want to point out is that when this does go live so when this launches okay the slippage will be much higher to begin with on Uniswap all right so if you do want to buy Moon Day tokens you can also buy them on Bilaxi exchange all right so you'll be able to get it at the price that you're trying to get it for you'll be able to buy it much easier on there you can then transfer your tokens to wherever you want to transfer it. do whatever you want all right guys but yeah that is an option if you don't want to buy it on uniswap because of the high slippage and you're saving money if you buy it on here all right guys so just to make you aware of that all right so what do you think about the moon day finance platform and moon fomo do you think that this has legs do you think this is something you'll be buying into make sure you let me know in the comments all right also make sure you subscribe and get over onto Twitter, follow me at Crypto Lightsaber, okay? There's also a link in the description for Patreon, so you can get access to the Telegram group if you do join me over there. But finally, that's about it for now. Like I said, I will leave links in the description for this. I'll leave a link in the description for the video, so you can go and see how that works a little bit more clearly. Alright guys, but yeah, that's about it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.